Hello and welcome to The Real Deal with Sean Matthews, me, um, where, we, where we interview business owners, entrepreneurs um, all around the world and people all like. So today I have a special guest here and, you know, I have to remember, maybe after I introduce her, we can discuss where we met and how we met because I'm trying to remember in the last... Um, <laughs> two days how we met so we'll we'll discuss that once I introduce her she's a lovely lady her name is Mel Watt and she is a portrait photographer specializing in creating an empowering women portrait experience that helps women find their strength connect with themselves and feel beautiful through black and white portraits with no makeup that reflects their inner beauty Mel completed her diploma of photography in uh, 2009 and her uh, photography business was originally based on photographing kids and families. But she has since found a new purpose in helping women celebrate who they are and finding their self-worth. Mel originally studied nursing and completed her Bachelor of Nursing in 1993, which she has helped, which has helped her today with connecting and building relationships with clients, which is absolutely amazing. Um, welcome on the show, Mel. Thank you for joining me today. Oh, thank you oh, so much for having me. It's an honor to be here. Oh, it's fantastic. I, I love what you do. Um, that's why I wanted to have you on the podcast. I love what you represent. Um, so first of all, um, can you recall how we met? You and I? I, did, um, I went to a women's uh, networking event in Brisbane, uh, it is actually called the Women's Networking Association, actually. And um, I met a woman there, and I'm struggling to remember her name, actually, but I can picture her face. And she said, oh, um, you need to meet this woman down at the coast, Gold Coast. Um, she's got blonde curly hair. Oh, yes, yes. Um, yeah, so she connected us by email to start with. That's right. Yes, I remember now. <laughs> that's right. Linda? We're not at, what's that? Linda? can't remember no. her name <laughs> Ooh, no 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 um yeah. It, yeah it's coming to me but anyway it doesn't matter now but we're connected which is fantastic I think we'll remember at the end of the end of the episode um while we're talking but I really wanted to introduce you and talk about more about your background how you got started in photography and um why change from children and families to women yeah well um I realized I loved photography when I started traveling in my early 20s I lived in London for a while and traveled through Europe and Africa and and um, had a little point and shoot back then a uh, negative film and um, on that first trip those first trips I thought oh I really love photography so then I got the SLR and got right into it and then the timing was right in life to uh, study photography um, I just loved it and I was actually ready for a change. I was a bit burnt out from nursing and um, I was, I could see that. So I was ready for a change and so I went down that path and left nursing altogether to work in a studio and then, um, so yeah, as you mentioned, I was with families and kids to start with but I um, uh, went through a journey myself. I suffered from a bit of depression for about, a year or so I think the whole journey and you know coming in and out of that and um, when I did come out of that and started feeling good about myself again that I thought whoa this is a big deal and because it really shocked me the, um, going through that and I thought god how many people or women in this world going through that and I would love to help them feel more proud of themselves and embrace who they are through photography I thought I'd give that a go so I had a lot of fear and doubt to start with whether I could you know capture women in a beautiful way and um, yeah and it was really really well received when I did it as a project to start with so wow yeah, that sort of that in a nutshell <laughs> mm, no that's amazing because I want to explore that it's fantastic I mean obviously depression is is very prevalent to a lot of people and you, you don't have depression your whole life I don't think but no. when you go through those deep moments, it, it makes you, well, let, tell us, um, it just, you, you find more of a purpose, I guess. Is that, is that how it happens? Yeah. 
Yeah, it did. So with my depression, I was feeling um, probably not proud of who I was, maybe ashamed of who I was. Um, Those were probably the main elements, I think. Um, And then, you know, during this time, it always been in the back of my head to try a new genre of photography. I was sort of ready for a new creativity, I guess is a word too, because as creators, um, you're always been searching for something new sometimes. And I was sort of knew I was ready for something else. Mm-hmm. Um, I wasn't as in love with the family work anymore. And, and it just sort of came to me coming out of it that I sort of thought, oh, maybe now's the time to try something new and, and I love helping people. I'm a nurse. It's what we do. Yeah. Um, and I guess I just thought, oh, I might just see how I can help women with their journey. Mm. Um, and, mm. you know, every woman's journey is different. So mm-hmm. yeah. that's amazing because it's fantastic that you do just black and white photos and not colored photos to yeah. show um, their, the essence of the woman and the, the title would be today is capturing the true essence of a woman which is um fantastic and I love that that you do that can you share maybe an experience um maybe there's um a lady in the background there I the all those background photos are all the ones that um you have Mm. you have taken which is fantastic and I see one here yeah that that's the one I was eyeing she's beautiful so beautiful so this beautiful woman so part of the experience um, is they need to fill out a questionnaire for me just to get to know them a little bit better, uh, how they want to see themselves in their photographs. And this particular woman said to me, um, if I don't get um, a beautiful photograph of her, it's not my fault. So implying that it was hers and because of how she felt about herself and obviously didn't feel like she was a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, after the photo shoot, um, she said to me that she felt like one of the most beautiful women in the world, you know, walking away after the experience and then coming back to see their photographs. So that's the second appointment where they get to see their photographs and, um, uh seeing them and you know this beautiful magical shot she said that um you know she felt beautiful or feels more beautiful and it helped her self-esteem and her self-worth and um yeah she just fell in love with them Mm. uh which is yeah super special so one of my favorite photographs actually yeah it's beautiful so the people that can't see it if, if you want to go over to my YouTube clip, you'll be able to see what Mel has um, has shown us. But, uh, yeah, that's an amazing story. And it's, it's fantastic that you do that. What do you think it is about photos? Because from my perspective, I think when I get my photo taken, I feel more alive too. And you, But it's more when you see the results of it. It's not the actual when you get the photo taken. It's when you see, oh, that's actually me. Um, and you go, wow, that's a great result. So what do you think the, the mindset is between the ladies getting the photos taken to seeing the results of their photos? Um, it's a bit of, bit of a, it, I think it's the actual whole journey with me. So um, coming into the photo shoot, you know, I tell them I'm, every, I'm with them every step of the way. So I'm there to help them um, be prepared for the photo shoot, even though they'll still be a little bit nervous and um, because it is a makeup free photo shoot. Mm. Um, but part of their experience is they have styling with Emma from Statement Styling. She's a wardrobe stylist, but she our values align and she's also about who you are here and aligning that with your outfits. So she's very good at giving them encouragement and feeling positive about the experience. So they get an uplifting feeling from her. Mm-hmm. But the photo shoot itself, they because my studio is a very safe space, it's a positive space, it's very calming, beautiful light. I have French curtain, uh, French doors with curtains where wind comes through. And you know that feeling of wind on your skin? So these mm-hmm. women really get to connect with themselves. They get to be present with themselves and um, get to... Um, 
I lost my train of thought. Sorry, Sean. Um, That's okay. They, uh, because they are, be, and they become embodied within themselves. So they're not just, you know, they're getting out of their head and into their body and connecting with their body. Mm. And so what happens is they start to feel very comfortable um, in the space and, that's when the magic happens and I see their light shine and I can see, you know, their beautiful qualities coming through in their facial expressions and their eyes. And um, they see me get very excited. Like I'm genuinely excited about the photographs I'm capturing because I know I'm capturing who they are here. And that's what it's all about. It's who they are here and bringing that through. So that experience in itself is part of the whole experience Um, they walk away and these are their words not mine they feel very liberated and powerful and like the most beautiful woman in the world so that's part of it and then coming back to see their photographs is another uplifting experience because they're seeing photographs that they love for the first time um, for a lot of women and because a lot of the women I photograph don't love photos of themselves or being photographed also so that is very liberating for them too so um and to say for the first time like a woman I had recently said for the very first time in her life I am beautiful um and that's really special Mm. yeah it's very special and I just got chills when you said that because a lot of women as you said there are a lot in their head and I work with a lot of women like that too trying to get them into their hearts and that's so amazing that a those women come to you and you you capture that and they are allowed that safe space to mm-hmm. be in their heart and just be with themselves be present with themselves rather than yeah. you know everybody else so um that's fantastic Mel I absolutely love that thank you for yeah. sharing that's okay and the other thing is they're also seeing what other people see in them mm. you know what people love about them and that's what I sort of focus on too is it, focusing on that is that's what matters. And because, you know, when we look at our friends and our family and we see what we love about them, we don't see anything else. We don't see maybe the little bit of gin that we've got going on here or whatever it may be that we don't like about ourselves. They yeah, don't see yeah. any of that. They just see what yeah. they love about you. Yeah, and so that's yeah. what I want to show them. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. So it's really um self-worth and and just building their confidence up just with a photograph which is so powerful in itself yeah and the last stage of it all is where they come back to collect their photographs so to be able to you know hold a photograph in your hand is so different to a digital photo they have a purpose in our world but it's the most beautiful way to connect with who you are too because the print has depth to it so you can really feel it really connect with it and it's always there for you to come back to and be reminded of you know the amazing woman that you are and that we all have strength there that um, is there that um, sometimes we need a reminder where it is and to pull on it Mm, yeah exactly love that exactly so what sort of um, so you have a studio is it in your home or where, where, where are you based excuse me, I'm in Norman Park uh, in Brisbane and um, I have separate access for my clients and they get to walk through a beautiful garden in the front to access the studio doors and the space. So it's the bottom of my house. So it's completely separate to upstairs. So completely private, but the light in there is just beautiful. Yeah, really beautiful. Mm, That's fantastic. So if anyone is in the Brisbane area, they can come and uh, see your studio and you're also online and I've I've actually put all the things in the show notes for um, people that want to contact you with um, you you know with your photographs and and connect with you in person um, things like that so we'll talk a little bit about that a bit later Um, but I just wanted to know more about um, you uh, Mel Watt and and how your story has really affected um, you helping each individual woman as a unique person um, in the photographs and then develop, do you develop them yourself? No, no. Um, I've got a lab, a professional lab that prints for me in Brisbane. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, So how your question is how I help each woman each individual women through my journey yes yeah 
Yeah. Or, or do you do you take those steps and you think, oh, this is my journey. I can help them with their journey. Or do you just look at that woman and say, okay, and and ask the right, you know, ask those questions. How do you want to see your photos and how do you want to look? Yeah. Yeah, I focus on them. I don't think about me actually at all. Um, yeah. Uh, I think I love what I do. And so I just, and because I want to help them on their journey, you know, it's such an honour to be part of their journey um, and for them to let me into their lives and share their story. Um, yeah, I don't think about mine. Um, and I think I just naturally... Um, um, connect with women easily I suppose that um, oh, I, it's funny I'm thinking about how it all happens it just happens automatically for me with the connections but I guess part of it is that questionnaire they complete for me so they're starting to give me stories about themselves and some women go into really deep stories so we have those talking points to start with and I think because of my energy maybe um, very open caring energy that I have that um, they just naturally start to open up with me and find it very easy to, to connect with me um, it's always all about them um, and I love being a part of that mm, um, mm, mm. I don't yeah it's funny how I just don't think about myself <laughs> No, during it and because I have so much fun you know I really have a good time with them and yeah is that what you want asking sorry yeah no that's what I anything I was just saying I mean what you're saying really is that you're giving a lot to the woman and you're listening to the woman and what they want yeah. and you're not even yeah. thinking about yourself which is amazing even though you have your own story it's mm. all about that woman and 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 what they want out of being there the experience so you're giving the woman naturally an experience because it just comes naturally to you and of yeah. course years in nursing that makes sense I think so yeah <laughs> and I'm very patient and a good listener and I guess for women you know they want to be seen and heard yes. and that's what I do for them I yeah. see them I listen to them I want to capture who they are and I guess with my energy, they feed off that too, mm. um, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. It is beautiful, though, because I haven't really heard of anyone that does black and white photos only with women. So you are the first one that I've heard of in, well, in, in my career. And I'm the only woman counselor on the Gold Coast that I know of. So mm. it's it's right that maybe you and I could work together in some way to help our clients um, bring mm -hmm. that true true beauty out you know which um, yeah. you, you do so that's that's fantastic um, I love it as I said I absolutely love um, the energy that you bring and the the insights would you be able to give us a story on one of your clients um, yeah yeah absolutely um Lots of beautiful stories, but a recent one that comes to mind is a lady I photographed recently. She, um, uh, her journey of uh, mental with difficulties with her own mental health is probably like a 10 year journey for her. Oh. Um, and um, she's just been coming out the other side of that in the last year. And she said to me, so when she came back to see her photograph, she said to me, um, she goes, she said, I don't know what you did during the photography experience, but you have released my inner child. And she said, no psychiatrist um, in the last 10 years has been able to do that for me. Um, she said, you know, it was just absolute magic what you did in there during the experience. Um, and she said to me, she told her psychiatrist this as well. Um, so that was very touching, gives me goosebumps every time I think about it. And, um, and that is a big part of the experience too, is that women do get to connect with their inner child. You know, we are so busy and especially mothers and sometimes mm. we're go, go, go that we forget to stop and have fun. Mm. And I can see that with women. And I do recall the moments, um, 
that this happened for this woman and and part of it is they're very free they they get to be very free during the experience and the body language changes too so you know it opens up and um and certain clothing that some women wear like flowing some women like the um dresses or skirts that are flowing and you can see them start to play with their clothing during the shoot (laughs) and they're connecting with their inner child you know the things you do as a little girl you would twirl and spin they start to do these things and they have so much fun and Ah. once again they're being present so going back to that woman who got to connect with her inner child um she was yeah it was a very emotional um viewing just happy tears basically and her husband was there too actually and um a very positive experience for her because she was starting to see this beautiful side of her Mm. that everyone else sees that she hasn't seen for a very long time so mm. oh wow amazing story I love stories and I love that story because mental health is excuse me very prevalent um, at the moment and well it always has been but it's now really coming to the surface but people are now looking at alternative ways to to heal themselves and photography is one of them which is which is absolutely beautiful and what you said with the inner child people have Mm. forgotten to play yeah just because you have a business just because you're over 40 or even over 30 doesn't mean you forget you know people do forget to play so yeah it's it's so so, important it's so So important important. it's actually part of self-care as you probably know yeah self-care to have a bit of a play and and I'm sure that you and dancing oh so you dance with them do you (laughs) yeah yeah well I have to stop because you know I need to capture some shots but um, (laughs) this particular woman she's got a beautiful story too actually but um (laughs) She danced and she sang and she really owned who she was actually. Um, This photograph here is on her wall as a portrait, actually. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah, and And she she wanted to... Mm. sorry would she, she be over about be a, 50 or uh yeah she's over 50 I'm not sure yeah. exactly her age but um she really wanted to feel proud of who she was yeah. with the journey yeah. she'd been through um and feel very confident as well and I still remember getting that photograph and you know she just went into that I didn't I don't say to them show me your strength or show me your confidence um that happened very naturally during the shoot probably about halfway through I think Oh, it's mm. beautiful. And I love the fact that you don't add makeup. You know, it's all natural. We, we were born yeah. with no makeup. Why do, why do we put makeup on? Yeah, so, and it's fun. I admire people that can do it really well. Like I love eye makeup. I think it's stunning. But I really wanted the photographs to be very raw and real, authentic. And, and I just thought, yeah, it had to be no makeup. Mm. Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Well, thank you so much, Mel, for your time today. Um, We are running out of time, but I know that you have a promotion that is running now. Would you like to um, let the listeners and the viewers know what it is? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, So at the moment, um, it's also, um, you know, it's Mental Health Month, but it's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month as well. And I'm donating $100 per photo shoot that I book in this month towards the McGrath Foundation who um, create um, nurses, uh, breast cancer nurses in areas that are remote areas and actually in the city also to help support patients with breast cancer. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm donating to them. So the promotion is uh, for photo shoots that are booked in this month, um, I'm giving them $250 off their collection of photographs so their experience includes their styling, pre-consultation, the photo shoot, and then coming back to select which photographs they would like to have. Oh, great. So yeah, $250 off. Mm, sounds like a great deal. <laughs> sounds like yeah. a great deal. Yeah. And I'll put those in the show notes, but is it also on your website? So if people go on your website, can you see that? Yeah, it's not directly in your face on my website, but you'll see the McGrath Foundation um, on my homepage. So you can yes. just click on that and go into that. Mm-hmm. 
but there's also the link on my social media at the moment goes straight to the landing page for the promotion. Mm, Beautiful. Well, thank you, Mel. Um, It's always a privilege and honour to speak with you. We speak every once in a while, but today has been extra special. So thank you for sharing those stories and and exactly what you do with um, capturing women's essences and um, their their natural beauty. Absolutely love what you do. So um, just letting everybody know, if you want to hop over to Mel's uh, website, it's going to be in the show notes. Um, and her website's below her her um, her photo here, just as we're talking. So um, if you're listening to the podcast, just go over to YouTube and you'll see everything there. Um, this is Sean Matthews with The Real Deal, where we have real conversations with real people and business owners alike. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching. Thanks, Mel, for being on. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It was amazing. Thank you. Yeah, it was good fun. Talk to you soon.